Hey, what's up? It's Chanel. Welcome to a new episode of Vital Vinyl Vlog. Today's video is brought to you by you. If you are a patron, thank you for suggesting this incantation record. As I mentioned in a past video, that when it comes to modern post 2000 incantation I'm kind of picky but dirges of Elysium to me this was the incantation record that I had been waiting for and if you're like what are you talking about what were you waiting for? Just that classic evil riddled death metal sound. And that's exactly what the boys brought to the table with Dirges of Elysium. Now, if I remember correctly, I'm, I don't want to really look. But, pretty sure, 2013, let's take a look, to see if I'm correct. Of course, I don't, see. oh wait. Alright, <laughs> I'm pretty sure it's 2013, but if I'm wrong, I legit apologize. But, Again, one of my personal favorite incantation records, and, like, I hold dirges up with, like, Onward, as well as Diabolical Conquest, Blasphemy, there's so much good incantation material. But, to me, this was just like, whoa. Because, in case you did not know, John from Incantation was in another project on Dark Descent Records called Funerous. Here. Festering Earth. I think that's Jill. Uh, is that Kyle? And I forget that dude's name. Let's check real fast. Because I think this might have been the same time period as Dirges. But I, I forget, because again, I don't have, I should have looked it up, I don't have the exact date here, but it's an incantation record. It's just a little bit more speedy, and just a little less doomy, but like at the same time, it's just like, they found this awesome middle ground, and it's just... I don't know, it's just, to me, one of my favorite incantation records. Yeah. Funerous, Festering Earth, I don't know if this is out of print, in print, but great release. I got this at a record store in Denver, where uh, Cave Evil used to be. I forget the name of the record store off the top of my head, I'm sorry. I know Spectral Voice played their first show ever there, when Casey was on vocals. Oh no, this is May 2003. I got my dates confused. I'm sorry, it was recorded May 2003, but this might have been another one. I don't know if it was released. Because, wait, I, I don't know, Ibex Moon, 
Yeah, is that... Alright, yeah. I'm sorry. Dark Descent must have just done the vinyl release. Because, yeah, 2003, that makes perfect sense, honestly. But, uh, the design and layout by Justin Stubbs. Hails Justin. And Funerous is uh, Brad Heppel, Jill, McC Jill uh, McQuenty, John McQuenty, and Kyle. Yeah, that's what I figured. All right. And uh, again, Ibex Moon was John's label. Uh, they did like the Durketta full length and stuff. Which I'll show you because it's incantation, and to me, they're kind of connected just on a long enough timeline. To me, they have a little connection, not just like being from around the Pittsburgh area during a certain time period, but like. I was such a big Incantation fan, like, I remember we played a show in Pittsburgh and, like, went through Johnstown and stuff, and, like, we went to a fast food restaurant hoping we would run into John from Incantation. Just nerdy stuff, but Ibex Moon, such a sick label. Pennsylvania Death Doom Mastery from Derketa. The first all female Doom Death Metal band established 1988. Ibex Moon. And this is on Colored Wax. I know for a fact, uh, well, this was a couple of years ago, but these were like $16 on Relapse. Fuck Relapse, but they were $16 for this double LP monstrosity. And it, it's just such a good record of Death We Meet. Hails to... Sharon. Another band, every time I see Derketa, it's just like, wow. And if you're a fan of Incantation, I take it you're a fan of Derketa. Incantation and the evil tremolo. Like, whenever they do those, like, evil like I, I i love it, it it's it's so good it's one of my favorite things about incantation like when it comes to the guitar work but let me show you dirt of the Elysium. again I, I i just don't have a fresh vinyl sleeve and i don't want I, see, listenable records, if you're watching this, please, like, this was cool. The Vital Remains one with, like, the flip, like, super nice, hell yeah. Like, I, did, I didn't have to get a new cover or anything. Very, very good stuff. And even relapse. Regular covers. The uh, Hell's Headbangers incantation reissues. I just have on cassette. But here's more relapse. Uh, Diabolical Conquest. 
the Infernal Storm. I do like the Infernal Storm, though, a lot. That's a good one. And, yeah, that's 2000, I think. Pretty sure it's 2000. But, like... Yeah. Incantation rules. Like I want to, I, I want to listen to this like after dirges now. Like this to me, just like dirges, I consider an underrated incantation record. The Infernal Storm. Like I love how the goat's eye is, like where you put the record. It's just I like cool shit like that. But, like, to me, this is incantation, like, it's hard to believe at this point in time how long they have been around and continue to put out badass records and tour and stuff. And I know a lot of people are like, how come you don't buy new incantation records? And honestly, I'm just kind of good. Like, there's some older stuff I still need, but, like, I'm not trying to sound like, oh, you know, but, like, I'm legit, I'm, I'm pretty happy with my incantation collection, aside from a couple releases I really want, including some earlier, like, demo stuff, but on cassette, I have Decimate Christendom. Blasphemy and Primordial Domination. I love the art, though, for Decimate Christendom. Hell's Headbangers did these reissues. Paul Ledney artwork. I forget if Paul did the front or the... Uh, I, I forget off the top of my head. Again, a really kind of underrated incantation release. Now, again, this this is just a good death metal record to me. Like, but I I just didn't feel like again some of these like I should have got blasphemy on vinyl, but some of it I just was like ah like I'm good with the tape. I'm just checking something real quick. Again, I'm just looking for years. And again, this is an Ibex Moon. I guess all these were Ibex Moon releases. Alright, 2006. So, yeah. This is back when people would give me shit for wearing incantation shirts. Yeah. People were seriously whack when it came to that type of stuff, too. It's like, you're on, like, incantation? Okay. Like, incantation, to me, is one of those bands, if you don't like incantation, you, you probably don't really like death metal. But again, it depends what, like, time period of incantation you're listening to. Because I understand not everybody's into the ultra doomy stuff. But that's why I love dirges. Because it's like, like I said, it's like the perfect, like, in between, like, death and doom. And I'm not talking, like, cyanide, but, like, it still sounds like incantation. It's like the same with, I mean, I like with immolation, but with to me with immolation, like I I love their new their last record, but again, it is just another immolation record, but it's still a great slab of death metal, and I probably am missing out on not checking out the newest incantation records honestly, because I love Death Doom. 
it's just one of those things I know I just hate relapse honestly like I, I don't trust them they've screwed me over way too many times I, I like normally like legit I wouldn't have any incantation records aside from dirges on vinyl if it was not for Witches Coven Distribution, the Patreon. First off, hails to the Patreon for saying, yo, Hell's Headbangers has dirges of Elysium. Like, I was going to order this with the Christianized when I ordered. The list, I, I ordered this from Listenable Records. I was not missing Dechristianize. Because I, I knew it was limited to 500 copies. So, like, yeah, I'm not... I wasn't missing this, but... I was going to get them both at the same time, but somebody... So I made a sick Hell's order, and yeah. Saved myself probably 15-some dollars. Hell's Headbangers. And I ended up getting Dawn of the Apocalypse from Hell's instead, which also Osmos Record import. Like a lot of people don't understand like a, some of the stuff that's like it's only like especially from Hell's, it's like $22 for this gnarly import of one of the best Vital Remains records. Colored vinyl, like... Hells doesn't play games. And Osmos did a great job here. I, I love... And listenable, the Dechristianized reissue is... Amazing. It's worth it for the gatefold photo. Like, I'm not even joking. Uh, I think they, these both say limited edition marble vinyl, but they're completely different colors. Like, check it out. I'll show you the incantation. Like, see, this is a lot more speedy than, like, newer incantation. And that's one of the reasons I love it. But also, like, when they go into the doomy parts, you're looking forward to it. And I like that. I know my microphone sucks. So I'll show you the vital remains. Like just... Bent. Suzuki, Tony Lazaro, and then Double LP, and I guess this is just like blue marble. Essential death metal though. Everything I've shown, check it out, like legit, and just for the sake of it. If you've never heard this, come on. But we're going more over evil death metal now. Classic also. So good. Again, take notes, people. If you have icons of evil, Vital Remains, thanks to my old band, Skeleton Proof Tanks. Kind of sick. I kind of want to get icons of evil, honestly. I just haven't heard it in a long time. Like, In the Cold Darkness, I, I want to get that as well. Kind of get, I want to kind of get all the Vital Remains records, but it's up to the patron account. I'm sure people would be into Forever Underground and Into Cold Darkness. But back to listenable records and this reissue, I think it sounds great. It looks great. 
the B side is just such an amazing slab of death metal. I just absolutely love it. Got a nice heavy, just like most listenable reissues, you get like promo photo, lyrics, and they're always really heavy duty and nice, really sick promo photo too. Demon esque. And the artwork, some of my favorite incantation artwork as well, and that's saying a lot. I just always found it like just super foul and it fits the record perfectly. Same with a lot of their artwork. Like that's kind of and like like look at that cover compared to Dirgens. It's like that early, you know, Photoshop. But again, still some really badass riffs and it's incantation. It's good shit. Death metal for fans of death metal. But again, some of their stuff does go into the real Doomy territory, which I love. But I know there's people that kind of don't and... But to me, like, this is incantation. Like, just the... Right back into the... Oh, they have such a dialed-in songwriting formula. And to me, on the B-side here, Charnel Grounds, Impalement of Divinity, Dominant, Ethos, and then Elysium, Eternity is Nigh, Prologue, Millennium, and Elysium, Left, Forgetfulness, Acreon, Sorrow, Styx, Hate, Phlegothin, Fire, and Coptus, Lamination. A-side, Dirges of Elysium, Slash Debauchery, Fastation of a Plague Soul, Carrion Prophecy, From a Gla- Oh, I'm gonna mess that word up. From a Glacetate, Womb, god damn it. One of the reasons a cursed womb is named a cursed womb is because of that track. And portal concentration. Consecration. Oh my goodness. Brain injuries. Yay. But yeah. Incantation, dirges of Elysium to me. Like I said, I hold this like up there with some of the best incantation record like I legit you know as much like I love Onward to Golgotha I sung Golgotha in the nude I know I know the little secret message that's in there but incantation just the see here's the doomy shit what I'm talking about it's a great mix of the two of just straight up death metal and then going into the like like tectonically crushing oh again it's one of the reasons I love incantation when they go into the slow parts but when they play fast it's just like cyanide when Cy and I play fast, I love, I fucking love it. But I kind of love like the dying truth, like time period, just a little bit better. But they're both, to me, essential. Like, I mean, my Cy and I tapes speak for themselves. Dirges of Elysium, folks. I know, you know, you probably want the earlier stuff, but trust me on this. I would not waste your time. 
Incantation, Dirges of Elysium, fucking A plus in my book. Like when uh my when Aaron wait when when Aaron from New Jersey got a copy, I was like, dude, what? Like where did you get that? I was so like legit, like not jealous. I was just like. Like what? Like, dude, that's like, like I I don't think he knew. Like I was like, dude, I was like, that's like, like, where'd you get that? Like that's legitimately like that's probably my favorite like modern incantation record. And when I say modern, like I said, I'm talking about you know not in the nineties. Like that <laughs> that's where I'm drawing the line. Like nineteen ninety nine. Okay, that's what I mean. But Dirges of Elysium, Listenable Records reissue, originally released by Ibex Moon, who, such a sick label. John, if you watch this and you have any old merchandise, please hit me up. Like, legit, please hit me up. I, I might even DM you, honestly. Because, it, like, Especially, like, being from Pennsylvania, like, to me, it was just one of those, like, things I just, even though I had nothing to do with it, aside from, so I always supported Ibex. Every time I could buy one of, like, your releases, I, I would. And like, just, I, like, the logo is so sick. With the, like, the Ibex goat. It's just so badass. Just real quickly, I just want to see if it was located. Uh, now that's to contact Durketa, who still are in Pittsburgh. Hell yeah. Oh yeah, I forgot this has the bonus tracks on it and stuff. Hell yeah. It does not have the... Ibex Moon location, but I swore it was Johnstown, Pennsylvania, like same area as Incantation around 2000, like six, around that time period. Because I was trying to think of when we played that, uh, um, Pittsburgh show. But anyways, if you're a fan of incantation, evil death metal, death metal with doom riddled in there, you can, this is pretty much, a, to me, a perfect record. And it's my opinion, but legitimately, like, this is one of those records where somebody's like, hey, what's death metal? Here, check it out. Like, for real. Because it has, like, the speed, the heaviness, the evil. Like, it's fucking great. You can't go wrong with Incantations, Dirges of Elysium. Hail to Listenable Records for caring enough about this to reissue it. I did see it got a tape reissue, which I would love to fucking grab. Because, again, I, I just, I love this record. So, thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. Infernal hails to the Patreon for making today's video possible. And again, hails to Incantation for, you know, just... Like, I haven't seen Incantation since 2017. I'm slacking. But just, like, I, next time Incantation comes to town, I want to have an interview with John. I, have, I just have some questions and stuff, so... Let's try and set something like that up. I know uh, I'll just, if anybody talks to John, just send, send him this part. Like, just tell him to DM primitive pathologist underscore on Instagram. But thanks for watching. As always, you fucking rule. My stitches still have not dissolved. It's so, I'm just constantly getting stabbed. <laughs> it kind of sucks, but. Thanks for watching as always, you fucking rule.
infernal hails and gratitude. Peace. <laughs>